What's up everybody? This is CryptoBox with another video. If you're new here, I make videos daily about blockchain games and NFTs. Subscribe if you're here to make some gains. Also, check my Discord and Telegram down below in the description. You can find me there, ask me questions, give me suggestions, and communicate with other people. So let's get started with the video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Place War or the Place Token. And this is a really new project. You can tell by it's not even the coin being out yet. And they're doing an ICO really close uh, from November 11 to November 12, 2021. And you can see the ICO price will be about one and a half cents almost. And uh, you can buy it on Redkite. So basically, this is a place where it's like a tank kind of game from what I've seen. NFTs and all of that. And this is how to participate. If you want to participate, you can check their coin market cap, which is linked below. Here you can see what is PlaceWar. PlaceWar is a strategic play to earn social game universe deployed on multi chain with high engaging artillery gameplay that encourages players to create and define, define the outlook of the in game world through building, battles, and alliance. So, this is uh, basically all about their PlaceWar gameplay and their storyline and etc. Play to earn. There are mainly four ways to earn in PlaceWar. Number one being win battles on pve and pvp to earn rewards number two uh predict to earn put wager on yourself in a guild guild war and win the game to earn number three collect to earn become a pixel owner and collect resources to earn then number four create to earn top 100 by conquest point eligible to be voted on to win a seasonal creator reward so uh there's four ways of play to uh playing and earning so that's pretty cool in my opinion here you can see this is their twitter gamify the internet culture metaverse so it's a metaverse type game too play to earn social gam gamify strategic artillery game ecosystem like they just said on the coin market cap you can see they're going to be on gamify and red kite which i think is pretty cool and they have about 53.8k followers which is a lot of people following them and i think that's pretty cool you can see they get some great engagement on their tweets. Uh, fair enough to be, you know, not botted followers or anything. And I think that's really good. Obviously, you can see they do a lot of tweets and retweets and posts every day showing that they're active through the community. And they're trying to engage with their community, which I think is really good. Here you can see this is Place War. Create by Conquest. You can see their white paper and enter the game, which is coming soon. Uh, they have some cool animations here and there. Then, welcome to Playstonia, a gamified internet culture metaverse on blockchain that awaits own pixels, create paintings, and expand your territory on map, all by conquest. Rage your tanks or make friends to make your creation scene and make real money along the way. So, play to earn, battle to earn, create new tanks, create by conquest, pixel lands. So, this is like the lands where you could own 90,000 pixels pixel lands presented as nfts fully ownable by anyone a pixel is a home base for tanks and represents a color unit on the playstonia map you can build your home base you can create to win and multi-chain nft play to earn playground so uh own your game basically is just saying that it's an nft bridge with multi-chains and allowing you to transfer your nfts to different uh, blockchains then here you can see this is their place token allocation now uh, you can see that 20% goes to private sale 5% goes to liquidity 45% goes to play to earn and farming 2% goes to public sale 10% goes to the ecosystem fund and 18% goes to the team now for having 1 billion tokens in my opinion that is uh, you know it's it's pretty high it's like more than average in my opinion but if you go here and you can see that their token price is about one cent and a half, in my opinion, that's really high for one billion token supply. So that's uh, really my uh, uh, opinion. Uh, your opinion can be different, but that's my opinion. You can see their roadmap 2021, quarter two, 2021, uh, quarter three. We're basically done with that. You scroll a bit down, and you go to the later stages, like here NFT sales, initial offering, playable beta and then q1 is the official launch of pvp and version one then you have uh quarter two and quarter three of pixel launch multi-chain development and deployment and then nft bridge built guild wars and full pixel features so uh that's basically their roadmap i think it's pretty unique and cool 
Then you have their partners, investors, and backers, which is a lot of them. There's a bunch of these guys uh, so supporting this platform, and I think this, this is pretty cool. You can see they're on Binance Smart Chain, they're on Polygon, and uh, there are many other blockchains. Like they said, they want to do some NFT bridging, so I think that's pretty cool. And then you can see join their community. So they have all these different social platforms which you can click on them and join. Then you have their white paper to go really into detail here like um, NFT minting, leaderboards, uh, create to earn, play to earn. Basically how all that works. You can see their team right here. So this is their team they would say. Uh, they have developers from these games like you can see uh, Glory Battlefield. Uh, you know different types of games. These uh, people have been developers of these games before moving to place war and etc. So they have a pretty good team. And obviously the actual people working in the team is not really public as it seems like it is. Uh, but you can learn more about their project like here. And uh, their place token. So you can see 500 million goes to play to earn and farming. And it keeps going on and on and on. And uh, but that's basically how you can know the exact amount of tokens. This is for BP20 governance token. So Place War is the governance token. For uh, the utility of Place includes token staking rewards, in-game rewards, and utility of governments, voting, and etc. Then you have their partners, just like we saw. This is uh, seems like what platforms they will be on. And uh, that's basically it. If you want to know more about their gameplay and events and all of that, you can check this out too. Tell me what do you think about this um, platform and uh, how do you feel about it. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Comment on for the next video and what game recommend. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.